It's that time once again, the final moment before lights out and the charge down to turn one. Who will come out on top at Paul Ricard today? We'll find out soon as the French Grand Prix gets underway. Mastering a lap of Paul Ricard means getting to know 15 corners, six left like and corners. nine right for an overall lap distance of 3.6 miles. The two halves of the long Mistral Strait are separated by a heavy braking zone into a potential overtaking hotspot at the Chicane Nord. And watch out for the drivers no. running onto the distinctive coloured stripes which are low in grip and highly abrasive. They are indeed and dangerous. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as we anticipate the rundown into turn one. Oh, no. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. We have Sergio Perez will lead us away from pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Fernando Alonso and Stroll, Norris, Sonoda, Gasly and Sebastian Fett, Leclerc, Sainz, Esteban Ocon and Ricardo, Raikkonen, Mazepin, Nicholas Latifi and Mick Schumacher, Russell and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid and now it's time to head down to the track.
Go for them. job. Drain that battery dry. We got a weak car. Driving. driving. That's the race win. We got you. Oh no, we're driver of the day again. Yes, another historic win under their Good belts. Good job, boys. Well done to the team at Mercedes. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving. Nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting oh, the team's shot, strategies. Boys. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the hey, victory celebration. Tree, my buddy. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Hey, buddy. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, hey. who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Well, for me, it's got to be Lewis Hamilton. The multiple world champion may be the boring choice at this point, but you can't argue that he's a driver deserving of his reputation. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined oh. us. I oh, will no. see you for the next one. What happened?